Hi, my name's Diane Linderman. I get the rare opportunity to travel the country teaching people how to make simple, healthy, and decadent recipes. Living on a ranch in Texas, my life is always an adventure. I'm an award-winning writer, serial entrepreneur, culinary genius, radio host, and an all-American mom. Join me each week to watch my show, Cookin' Americana, where I promise to inspire you to cook, laugh, and dream while I prepare simple, healthy, and delicious recipes. Today, Mama's going to be making creamy, home-style mashed potatoes that are a simple and healthy addition to any family meal. Welcome to Cooking Americana. My name is Diane Linderman, and I'm going to show you how to make some incredibly simple and delicious recipes from my years of the, on the road and my incredibly famous restaurant on in a six-acre organic farm. So what I've done is I've actually simplified cooking. Today we're gonna make mashed potatoes and I'm gonna show you how to make them healthy. Can you believe mashed potatoes healthy? There's a such thing. Here's this is two ingredients. I've got red potatoes and what we've done, we did not peel these. All we did was boil them till they are actually the crack stage like that. Whoop, there they go. <laughs> I'm gonna get that because that's clean. So this that's all you do. You just make sure that they're you know, that they, you can squish them in your hands and that's about as good as mashed potatoes. You don't want them too squishy. You don't want to leave them in the water too long because they'll actually get water inside of them and they'll start to get all mushy. Red potatoes happen to do that probably worse than any other potato. Okay, we're gonna use two sticks of butter. This is not sour cream, this is Greek yogurt. It's very high in protein. Why, uh, you can use low fat if you want, but why? Because we're putting two, half a pound of butter in it. All right, so what we're gonna do we're going to go ahead and I'm put my butter in it and uh, I'll show you how to take care of this problem in a minute. All right, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to take about, I don't know, about a cup to a cup and a half of my um, Greek yogurt. This is how simple this is. We're going to put a little bit of uh, pepper and I'm going to put a little bit of just plain salt. Sometimes I use garlic salt. All right. Here, here's, here's my favorite tool that I've ever owned in my life. Now, you have to be really careful because if you over stir these, there's gluten in red potatoes and actually will turn into a giant rubber ball. So you have to just basically use this as like a squisher and you just get it all mixed up. Sometimes you have to finish it off with a, um, with a potato masher, but I like doing it like this first because I get my butter in there. And you gotta make sure your potatoes are very hot. Okay, looks good, doesn't it? You can smell it, it smells so good. We're all hungry in here. We're gonna be devouring these in a few minutes. My next uh, recipe I'm gonna be making after this, you'll have to watch the second episode to today's in, I'm gonna be making a Cheaters barbecued ribs and Cheaters barbecued chicken, which this goes really well with. So make sure you find that episode and wash it so you can have an entire meal. You have to be very careful because this can turn into rubber. But I'm going to finish this off with my favorite tool. My other favorite tool, that is. Whoops, starting to already. Okay, a uh, simple whisk. Because once you get your potatoes to a point like this, you basically can use this to cut them all up. Okay, and then I do it kind of the old. You can use a potato masher if you like. But this works just really good for me because once I get it all chopped up, then I simply stir it. I drop everything. This is a kitchen, you know. Okay. Now, doesn't that look yummy? Ooh, it's starting to look good. Okay. And I just take that out of there like that. And this is all ready to consume. I hope you're all hungry. Because I know I am. All right. There we go. Ready to stir with a spoon. And ready to plate up. Now I do like to have my mashed potatoes with a little bit chunks in it. A lot of people don't, they like it really creamy, but you'd have to add a lot, a lot of butter to that. How's that looking to y'all? You ready to come to my house to eat dinner? Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel and subscribe because we have great recipes 
Everything is super simple and also make sure you get my cookbooks. All of my recipes are in both my cookbooks. Everything that matters in the kitchen and kids can cook. Thanks for listening. Till the next episode, we'll see you later.